So we have to go into the bathroom alone and all the lights must be turned off. And then we must repeatedly say the words blue baby blue. Then you'll feel a baby in your arms getting heavier and you'll feel it scratching your arms. What? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cherry Dare, of course. And it's another gadget today. Don't know why I'm singing again because it's not in June or anything, but it is the cursed sleepover. And uh, I hope I never have to be on a cursed sleepover ever because even that is just slightly scary. This one is by Aviara, so if you haven't really gone and checked out their channel, link is in the description as always guys, go share the love. Alright, it's a little bit of a long one, so let's get into it. Looks like someone is having a good nap. Oh, is it that boy in the back? Mr. Evans, wake up! Ah, I'm awake, I'm awake. Oh, Michael, you're an excellent student, but this is your 12th time this term falling asleep in my class. Detention for you, I'm afraid. Now back to the lesson. Hi, I'm Kaisley and I'm 17. Hopefully I pronounce that name right too, because we all know I'm terrible at pronouncing names. <laughs> I have a pretty normal life, you know. Oh, or so I thought, but I'm just really an ordinary girl. That's Michael. <laughs> He's 18 and I've had a crush on him since eighth grade. He's funny, smart, confident, everything I'd want in a guy. But I doubt he'd like me back. Aw, well you don't know if you don't try. Make sure to put your video notes in your journal. Class dismissed. Bye bye, Mr. Evans, come here please. Is there any way I, I don't have to go? There's been a reason why I keep falling asleep. I have to help my mother with the, her bakery. Aw, if he's actually doing that, then yeah, that's really early morning starts. And I work quite late. So if you put me in detention, I won't be home in time to do my homework. It's hard to acknowledge that you're an adult. You get a free pass this one time. Oh wait, who's this? Besties! Oh, we like besties! That's my best friend, Missy. She's also 17 like me. So, how did class go with Mike? Same as always. He fell asleep. I admired him, etc. Girl, this same thing for three years? Really? You have to start making moves! Missy, I doubt he likes me back. That's why you have to make him like you. Some people need a push in the right direction. What are you wanting us to do? Okay, let's just stop arguing about boys, please. Any interesting stuff happen in science? I guess. Mrs. Charleston announced a partner project and she'll be telling us a partner's tomorrow. That's cool. Hey, I've been really interested in paranormal stuff lately. Oh no, I see where this is going. Oh no, <laughs> the cursed sleepover is gonna start with paranormal activity. <laughs> Oh my god, me too! That's why you're my bestie! So I was thinking about having a sleepover sometime, you know, soon, and we could play some scary games. Yeah, we should totally do that sometime! Oh no. Oh, okay, where are they going? Uh oh, that's the guy she likes. Wait, how do I pronounce that name? Jadis? Ugh. I, okay, whatever. Out of all the girls? Okay, nobody hurts my bestie like that. I understand, but he didn't mean to hurt me. Sure, I liked him for three years, but people are allowed to love who they want. And if you choose Jadis, then, you know, so be it, I'll move on. Oh, come on, Kaisley, don't cry over that poop. He not worth it. <laughs> I know what will cheer you up. Oh, no. I heard this bakery was really good. Oh, my gosh. We're going to the bakery that he helps at? Okay, well, actually, to be fair, it's after school, right? So he shouldn't, in theory, be there. Right? Thank you, Missy. You really know how to cheer me up. I really do, don't I? <laughs> He's there! Oh no! <laughs> no way! Uh, hello? He clearly wants to work there, clearly. I'm giving a bad review on Yelp. No, please don't do that! I'm sorry, ma'am. Someone was non-stop texting me. Hey, Kaisley. Funny seeing you here. Yeah. Are you okay? You seem down. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, then. Uh, okay, so we would like... <gasps> mm, that looks good. What's wrong, Missy? It's just, I'm sorry for that encounter. Well, she didn't know, you know? So much for cheering you up. What are you talking about? You did cheer me up. You don't know how much I appreciate you doing this. Thanks, Case. Oh, we're back at school. Oh, oh. Ooh. Hey, Kaisley. Do you need something? Yes, actually. I may have forgotten to fill in some parts of the triangular theorem notes. Typical Mike. Oh, stop blushing! He has a girlfriend! Oh, Here is my journal. Just give it back to me by math. Thanks, Kaisley. Yeah. She's more gloomy than usual. She usually talks to me in a really positive tone. But now she's barely talking. Hmm, I wonder why. I don't get it. Is she mad at me? 
I have to figure this out. Kaisley! Hey! This is Alan. He's also into paranormal stuff like us. <gasps> Ooh. We were also partnered for the project earlier today. Ah, there we go. Hi, Alan. I'm Kaisley. Nice to meet you. I'm Alan, as you already know. Remember that sleepover I was talking about yesterday? Alan is going to join us. Yeah, it actually sounds fun. We were talking about having it this Friday night. Since it's going to be Friday the 13th. Oh my goodness. They are asking for trouble. Oh, you were being serious about that. Ah, of course I was. Also, is it okay that I invite my best friend? Really? No, are you serious? It's her crush. He's always working late at his mother's bakery. And I thought he should have a little fun and not overwork himself. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not fine. Whose house? My friend's house. It's good for the sleepover games. I'll text Missy the address. Bye, Alan. You know what the sad part is? You know how I help my mother at the children's hospital, right? Yeah. Well, my shift starts right after school and I won't have any time to change, so I'll have to change at school. That sucks. Did Alan tell you who his best friend was? You don't want to know. No, he didn't. I guess we'll have to find out. Thursday after school. Great. Hey, Gaisley. Hey. You're in the photography club, right? Uh-huh. Want to walk there with me? Why, why would he ask that? Doesn't he have a girlfriend? Or I could have misunderstood everything. Maybe they aren't dating and she forced him to kiss her? I mean, he didn't really seem to be into it. Maybe I do have a chance with him. Are you gonna say something? Just standing there like a lemon for about five minutes. Sorry! <laughs> yeah, sure, I can walk with you. She looks more happy. Hey, do you have any plans for tomorrow? Oh, yes, actually, I'm having a sleepover with my bestie and her friend. Oh, his face. His face! Wow, same. Except my best friend is forcing me into it. We're apparently going to play scary games with him, his friend, and his friend's friend. Who's your best friend? Oh, his name's Alan. We're going to the same sleepover? Oh, no. I'm the friend's friend. Oh, how the turntables. This will be fun for sure. Yeah, fun. Ugh, and so the spamming begins. What's happened? Who's texting you? My girlfriend. Oh, you have a girlfriend. Yeah, and we should go now. All of a sudden she's sad again. Put two and two together. Okay, dude, just put two and two together. You'll figure it out. Right when I mentioned my girlfriend. Oh, oh, maybe he's gonna do it. Does she like me? There you go! Yeah, there, there, there you go. Well done, Mike. No, Mike, you can't assume things. Of course I would get my heart broken. What's the point in trying anymore? Aww. Hey, Kaisley, is there something wrong? Maybe I'm being a little bit overdramatic. I should still be nice to him. No, everything's fine. If you say so. Friday! I'm so excited! <laughs> you look really funny! Oh, thanks. Thanks, bestie. Is he staring at her? Keep going! He definitely chose the wrong girl. Anyways, what time should I pick you up? Six o'clock. I still feel it's weird we're going to Alan's best friend's house. And we don't even know who the best friend is. Oh, we do. We do, girl! I know who it is. Who? I gotta go! <laughs> Thanks for coming to help out, Kaisley. No problem, Mum. Guys, KK is here! Julie, what'd I say about shouting? Hey guys! I see you've come prepared. We always come prepared. So we brought candles, crosses, blankets, holy water, you know, the whole lot. And extra clothes, because why not? Well, you guys are actually taking this seriously. Why wouldn't we? I'm not saying you wouldn't. Hey guys! Wait. Mike is your best friend? Yep. Why do they look so mad? Excuse us for one second. You knew it was him, didn't you? Yeah. Why didn't you just tell me? Because I knew you weren't going to let me go if you knew. I don't want my sadness to get in the way of us actually having fun. And even though we can't be together, we can still be friends. Wow, that is super positive, girl. I'd be okay with us being just friends. No, no you're not. No, you're not. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. Are you sure about this? I don't want you to feel bad. I couldn't be more sure, Missy. If you say so, Case. Now let's go actually have some fun. We should play some games now. And I'm not asking. Really? Bloody Mary? Oh no. Remember how I said I wasn't asking? Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. See? Nothing is happening. <gasps> what? Oh, nothing. I just saw Alan. Wow! <laughs> 
Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board! Guys, this is our ninth time trying. It isn't working. Well, let's play a different game. Really? Red door, yellow door? Shh. And let me do the magic. Put your hand down when you see a door. Red door, yellow door, or any other colour door. What the heck? Why are you rubbing my head? First of all, you make that sound so weird. Second, that's how you play the game! You mean ritual? Yeah. Now lay down. Red door, yellow door, or any other colour door. Oh, What colour door do you see? Uh, pink. Do you feel safe about it? Why? I do indeed! Go in. What do you see? I see puppies and rainbows and cookies! Oh no. <laughs> he is not taking this seriously. Do you feel safe about it? Why yes I do! Check your pockets. Okay, this is stupid. These games aren't even scary. He's right. Well, what do we do? Ghosts aren't real. Uh, excuse me? Ghosts are very much real. I will find a scary game for us. She's so scary. Well, you know what they say. If she doesn't scare the poop out of you, then she's not the one. We only met a week ago, jeez. Guys, I found a game we can play. Tell us about it. It's called Closet to Another World. It's where you can enter another dimension through your closet. And this dimension is a total mystery. I think it's totally really cool exploring another world. I prepared all the supplies. I'm in. Sure, why would I say no? Come on, I'll teach you rules. Isn't this game supposed to be single player? I don't think it matters. First, we have to turn off all the lights. On it. Let's go. Ooh, spooky. Everyone get a piece of paper and write your name on it. So that's what they did. And then on the back of the card, they all wrote down their age squared. Their age times itself. And then Missy filled two glasses of water to a seventh of its capacity. Ooh, spooky, spooky. Don't know what this has got to do with anything. I don't think we need cardboard boxes. Missy, you don't think we're skipping too many things? Nah, it's fine. Okay, everyone get inside the closet. Oh no, what is going on? Oh, everyone count to your squared number. Okay, not weird at all. Very confused. Oh, what happened? Oh, what's going on? Something's happening. We're here. What? Looks the same. It... it isn't. She's right. I can feel it. There's only one way to be sure though. We must split up around the house. Why? The entity won't harm us if we're all together. So we should split up and look around the house. She's right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, what? What happened? Oh! <gasps> he cracked a mirror! Okay. Oh! What was that? What the heck? Oh, oh wait, whoa, wait, what? Oh, what happened? Missy, are you okay? What happened to you? Are you okay? Me? What about you? What happened to your nose? What happened to your face? The entity got to me and left a mark. There's something wrong with the house. I think I know why. I got this letter stuck to my face. And apparently we provoked the spirits. Oh, well done. Because we played the games wrong. And now we're trapped in this nightmare world. And this sleeper is now cursed. Oh my god. How will we get out? Cursing stuff is more of Kaisley's thing. So Kaisley? Well, from what I know about trapped in a world, which only could have happened because we provoked the spirits, and the only way to get out is to trick the ghost into letting us out. Oh my goodness. And you know the only way to trick ghosts. We have to play more paranormal games. So more super scary games? Well, what game should we play? We should probably do the riskiest ones. The more risky it is, the more it will confuse the spirits. Wait, so this nightmare house is haunted? Yes, and they plan to keep us here for all eternity. This is gonna be a long night. So what game will we play first? Well, I was thinking the midnight game. Oh, I've heard of that one. I think I've watched the movie. It's an old pagan ritual used for punishment. And there is a very high chance of death. What? Well, then I guess we should try not to die. What are the rules? So it must be exactly 12 a.m. It's 11.53 right now. Basically, we just try to avoid the midnight man. Oh my god, this is gonna go wrong. I'll hold the candle, guys. Missy, what time is it? 11.58. Mike, can you go knock on the door 22 times? And make sure the final knock is at 12. Sure. Oh gosh. 
Pretend to knock 20 times. Quickly, close the door. Whoa, what? Phew. Here, I'll relight it. Oh my goodness. Now we just go around the house avoiding him. Great. Great. Oh. Quick, light on. Oh. Guys, he went out again. Light it. Oh. Michael, get the lighter. We're too late. Run, Kaisley. Wait, what? What? Oh, great trips. No, please don't hurt me. What? Oh, no. No. You'd think I'd ever like you. Oh, he's, he's pretending to be him. Oh, my goodness. You're just an idiot. You're worthless. I'd rather die than date you. I'm sorry. It was silly of me to think that. I'll forgive you if you let me. Well, let you what? Kaisley, run! It's not the real me! Oh! Oh! Ah! Thank you, Mike, for saving me. You're welcome, but what was that? My biggest fear. If you fail to relight the candle within 10 seconds, the Midnight Man takes form of your biggest fear and rips all your organs out! <gasps> her biggest fear is me rejecting her? Oh yeah, what time is it? Oh, it's 3.35 and we're unharmed. We won, Mike! Okay, let's go find the others. Missy! Thank god you're okay. What happened back there? I fainted out of the trauma. I'm sorry, I could have gotten you guys killed. It's alright, Missy, it's not your fault. I guess we have to play another game now. Yeah, I thought about it. I was thinking the game Baby Blue. Let's do it, guys. This is so interesting as well because I've never... There's some of these I've never heard of them. Or I didn't even know the rules. So this is really interesting if these are actual ones that people do. Also, if you're wondering why they are playing games that require a person to be alone, that's because of the more players there are, the more it would confuse the spirits. Oh. So how do you play Baby Blue? So we have to go into the bathroom alone and all the lights must be closed. As in turned off, I'm guessing. And then we must repeatedly say the words, Blue Baby Blue, 13 times without any mistakes. Then you'll feel a baby in your arms getting heavier and heavier, and you'll feel it scratching your arms. What? If the invisible baby gets too heavy, you must flush it down the toilet. What? And run out of the bathroom as quick as you can. All right, seems easy. I think it would be best for only Missy and I to do it. I think you guys have been through enough trauma. You guys just stand outside the bathroom door. You'll have each other, so you won't get scared. Okay. Great. You know, Alan, I kind of wish we were working on our project. I'm really scared. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, don't be scared. You're with me. Aw. Now let's do it. Great. Blue baby blue. Twelve times later. What happened? I feel the waves of the baby. Keep rocking it. Missy, what happened? It's scratching my arms. It hurts so much. Go flush it quickly. It hurts too much. I can't move my arms. Just like literally drag her to the toilet. I demand my baby back. Oh! Flush the baby! <laughs> what the heck? Oh! Alan! Missy, what happened? My arm. Oh my god. I'm sorry we don't have any eye patches. It's fine. All that matters is to me is that you're okay. So are we done with the games yet? I don't think so. If all the games we played were enough, we would be back in our world by now. So more games? Unfortunately. Well, in that case, we should try play this game Dry Bones. It involves summoning a demon that will sort of play tag with you. I don't want to know what happens when it catches you and tags you. It's kind of like one man hide and seek, but you get a prize. You can ask for any prize you want, but it must be a physical object. The game starts exactly at 12.01 and you must stay in hiding until 3 a.m. If the demon does not find you, then you win the game. How will we play it? It's way past 12.01. It's actually 11.50. I guess time resets after you play two games. Oh, that is so weird. What should our prize be? Just ask for something you want. Let's just start the game now. So if this candle manages to stay lit for more than 15 seconds, it means he is pleased and is willing to play the game. 15 seconds later. Oh. Let's go to the front hallway. Ah! I'm aware of your presence. I will allow you into my home, but not my body. Oh my goodness. Come now. What the heck? Everyone go hide! Okay. How will we fit? Get your logic. <gasps> This night escalated quickly. I've been so scared in my life. Yeah, it's been a long night. I... I'm just glad to be here with you. 
I'm sorry, you have a girlfriend and do you mind if I, uh, no, I, oh, okay, that I kiss it, okay. Well, you know, they might die, so, I mean. Mike, you, you have a girlfriend. Shh. <laughs> Let's stay like this. All right, then. Don't speak, he might hear you. A few hours later, wh what happened? I think it's 3 a.m. now. <gasps> what happened? We couldn't find a hiding place in time. He scratched me right before we hid in the closet. Uh, I don't think there's any bandages left. Oh, what? Oh, uh, guys. It's still 2.56. So we came out of hiding early? Run! Oh my goodness, they're crazy. <gasps> Are they gonna find another hiding place in time? Oh, we left Kaisley. Dude, don't go in there. Yeah, he might get you too. Oh no. Wait, do you like her? I love her. I already have a girlfriend, but I can't explain right now. Let's just get this night over with. Don't worry, we'll get her back. She also loves you a lot. She's liked you since eighth grade. She never thought you'd like her back. She was really upset when she found out you had a girlfriend. Right, that does it, I'm going in. Wait! Might as well follow in now. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, Kaisley! What did he do to you? He cornered me and did this to my eye. Oh my gosh. Will we get out of here? Even if we play another game. Hopefully we need only one more game. So right now, the time has been reset to 12 p.m. I was thinking we'd play Queen of Spades. It's basically about summoning the Queen of Spades from the card, and you can ask her to grant you one wish. And it can be anything. It's basically the Russian version of Bloody Mary. Oh, great. Kaisley, have you got the lipstick? Yep. You know, we'd be happy to help too. Yeah, but this is very dangerous. It's preferred to be done by professionals. You're professional? Yeah, right. Okay, then. Seems legit. Okay. Kaisley, you can draw the steps now. Oh, great. What? Oh, oh, oh steps. Literally. Done. Queen of spades, queen of spades, queen of spades. Okay, everyone, close your eyes and visualize the queen opening the door and walking up the stairs. Great, sounds terrifying. <gasps> Mike, you make the wish. Mumbles a wish, oh, for what? Cough, wait, what, why, why is he coughing? Dude, whoa, what? What was that? He doesn't know. That means something isn't right. Run! Wait, you aren't supposed to run. We have to end the game first. Kaisley, there's no time. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened? Whoa, did she just nearly get dragged into the mirror? Where could they be? We're here. Oh, thank God. I can't go back into that house. It was super dumb for us to run away. We should have ended the game properly. Now she might take control of the whole house. Well, how do we stop her? The only way to stop this is to go in and break the mirror. But that could still be super dangerous because she might have already escaped the mirror and want to kill us. We're already so hurt. How much more damage can we take? Well, we can never escape this night if we don't break the mirror. So I don't really know. Oh my gosh, guys. I just noticed. Mike is completely unharmed. That's right. It's probably because of his earrings. But we've showed the crosses many times and it didn't work. I know, but in this world, those crosses probably don't work. I Mike's earrings are pierced into his skin. That must explain why the queen stopped strangling Alan when I grabbed him. So your earring must drive the spirits away. Oh, here we go. Have we got a plan? That's it. We all need one. Mike, do you have any extra? I mean, I doubt he would, but is this gacha logic now? Oh. What? Oh, now I do. Wait, what? Well, that's what I wish for. From the queen of spades. What? He's smart. He's so smart. Now we know what triggered her. This is nothing to be smiling about. Give us the earrings. No, I'm not giving you my signature look. Are you serious, Mike? Mike, it's either your originality or our lives. Fine. Oh my goodness. Oh. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait! Kaisley! Wait! Queen of Spades, just go away! Oh. No way. He's holding me. What? Did we escape? Guys, wake up. Why'd you move? Wait. What? Guys, it's 11 a.m. Wait, so we escaped? We did, thanks to Mike. I, I never thought it worked like that. It probably didn't. Anyways, I'm so glad we finally escaped. And we all did it together. And thus, a new friend group was born. Group hug. Oh my goodness. Why do I feel like that's not over? We're going on a walk. After our very traumatic experience. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, that's the thing. Why'd you do that? You have a girlfriend. I know I have a girlfriend, Kaze. But I love you. And about that scene at the midnight game? 
Your biggest fear is me rejecting you. Yeah. See? You like me too. I, I don't like you. I love you. You never let me explain, Kaisley. You see, my parents work in different industries. My mother owns that little bakery, and my dad owns a huge company. My father wants me to prepare to one day lead a CEO. So he wants me to have a good reputation. But I love helping my mother out with the bakery. But my father got really mad and disapproved. I begged him to let me help out my mother. He finally let me, but on one condition. Only if I dated Jadis. At the time, I only liked you, so I was disappointed. But I would do anything for my mother. So yeah, that's why I date Jadis. You're such a sweet guy, doing anything for your mother? But why me, out of all the girls? I can give many reasons. You're so beautiful, and so cute, so bubbly. You're smart, and funny, and sweet. Stop, you're making me blush. But after this night, I realize I love you so much. I only want you, Casely. Hopefully my dad will understand that love can't be stopped. So I'm going to break up with Jadis for you. No, 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 you don't have to. But I want to. Please be my girlfriend. Oh my gosh, am I dreaming? I'll take that as a yes. Oh. Okay, well. I, oh gosh, this is going to be awkward. Oh gosh, why rain? I know, you went on this lovely walk and it starts pouring it down. Oh my god, why are you looking at me like that? Okay, Missy, I have to be honest. I know we just met a week ago. But this crazy night made me realise that you're the girl I love. I guess love at first sight really does exist. Wait, you... Yes, I love you too! Aww. <laughs> oh my god, we're all couples now! Wait, is there gonna be like a part two and then they've all split up or something because more cursed things happened? Yep, I love you, bestie. <gasps> yes, besties, for the win! Jadis, we're breaking up! But I still love you! Please, you only use me for my popularity. And to be honest, I don't want to date a brat. Your dad will be so mad though. You act like such a child. Am I the child here? Just wait until your dad hears about this. Mum, this is my girlfriend, Kaisley. It's very nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, you're so very beautiful. I'm glad my son chose you. Thank you. Thank God you got rid of Jadis. Oh, she's a very rude girl. Fortunately, Mike's dad actually approved of me. Oh, well, that's good then. Now our lives are back to normal. Are they, though? Are they really? Oh, we're stuck. Oh, what happened, Mike? Mummy, I hurt my leg. Oh, let mummy see. All bandage up, buddy. Do you feel better? No, it still kind of hurts. Want mummy to sing you a song? It'll help you feel better. Oh, I love this. So this is when Mike was a little, a little child and his mum. Mm-hmm. There were three little flowers that smiled so nice. But one was super cold as ice. Which little flower could it be? That little one in the tree. A plus! Yay, great job, babe! Oh no, they just said babe. Oh no, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys! Bestie! Hi! How have you been since that night? Can't imagine which night you mean. To be honest, I feel so much stronger. I literally got stabbed and survived. Wait, what? <laughs> Did she actually? I don't actually remember that happening. Thanks to your boyfriend, of course. Hey, speaking of Mike, where even is he? I actually don't know. I haven't seen him face to face since our double date last Friday. Good luck finding him. Thanks, your good luck is very much appreciated. Oh, we're in class? Where is he? I miss him. Wait, he's not been in touch this whole time? Oh. Come on, Case. Don't be sad. I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Yeah. Keep thinking that. I I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really worried about him. He'll turn up soon. We promise. Bye, Casey. We're going to take the bus. Bye. Oh. Is that Mike? Hey, Michael! Hey, babe. Don't hey, babe me. Where have you been? Sorry, Case. I had to chaperone for my cousin's field trip. You couldn't have texted her? You guys have phones, right? Just text. Well, Kimia, who's that? This is my cousin, Michael. He's 18. Wow, that's old. He's also hot. Ew, I wouldn't say that. And he already has a girlfriend. Look how disappointed she is. Aw, oh, man. Look at that pretty fish. Look at the pretty fish! Oh jeez, yeah, yeah, I see the pretty fish! Funny enough, I just went to aquarium not that long ago. Maybe just check out my Instagram. I post photos on there of stuff I do like this. Mike, can you buy me something from the gift shop? No, Kimia. Please! No, you already made me buy you that $15 water gun. Water guns are fun though. Yeah, but this is different. No, Kimia. <laughs> okay! 
Fine. You got a nice car, Mike. Uh, thanks. I want McDonald's. No, you already made me spend so much money on you today. I'm your favorite cousin, right? Even so, it wouldn't make a difference. I mean, I would buy it for you, but I can't. Why not? I have to drop you back home. Why? I want to see my girlfriend. Why? I haven't seen her all weekend. My McDonald's is more important than your girlfriend. All right, that's it. Get out of my car. I don't care which door you use. Just get out of my car. <laughs> I'm so sorry for Mike. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Well, thank you so much for taking care of her, Michael. It's no problem. She wasn't too much hassle, right? No, no. She was a sweet angel. Gave me no problems. And you didn't even tell me? I was so worried about you. I, I got you a drink. <laughs> uh, thanks. She's so cute. I'll see you later, Mike. Hold up, where are you going? Uh, Heim? I'll walk with you. I just realized we're wearing matching clothes. Aww. Oh my god, babe, we've been walking forever. Stop being so dramatic, it's only been 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes? We should have just taken my car if it wasn't at my house. Exactly, you left it at your house. So walking is the only solution. Uh-huh. Anyways, this is my stop. I'll see you tomorrow, Mike. Love you. Wait, Case, can I get a kiss? Nah, this is what you get for not telling me. Oh, she has sis. Bye! No, wait, please, I'm sorry. Ugh. Nah, sorry, mate. <laughs> not happening. Oh, can we forget this scene happened? Oh, it didn't happen. Wait, what? No, I don't want to forget it happened. Oh, it was so sweet. Okay. Boo, it's forgotten. All right, Thursday. Let's go. I'm ready. I feel so weird wearing this hat. You shouldn't. You look cute. Oh, are you blushing? You like my compliments, don't you? <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah? Could you come over after this? My parents and sister came back from Pan- Wait, what? I have not even heard of that place before. Is it nice? I want to Google it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't have heard of it. Ah, oh, it looks really, really pretty. I want to go at some point. So I was wondering if you could meet them. Of course. Why'd they go to Panama without you, though? Well, they went there for my sister's stem cell thing. I don't know. They let me stay here because I'm a mature adult. <laughs> no. Are you implying that I'm immature? I think your face answers that question pretty well. You're lucky that you're so cute. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hey, Tinsley. Hi, Mikey. Mum, this is my girlfriend, Kaisley. Hi, Kaisley. Hi. Hi, Kaisley. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kaisley. Oh, she's adorable. Here, I want to show you guys something. Look, it's a bendy pencil. Oh my goodness. I remember having those when I was a kid. Kaisley, this is my pink bear. Wow, I like your pink bear. You want to see my bunny? Sure. She's so cute. Oh, look at the bunny. Look. So then they played for a little bit. Mikey, thanks for bringing Casey. She's so fun. You want to see what Mikey got for you? Uh, Tinsley, we're not giving it to her till tomorrow, huh? Well, I want to give it to her now. Okay, fine. You can give it to her now. Oh, that's so cute. They got them a bear. They got her a bear. Roses are red, violets are blue. Love never crossed my mind until the day I met you. Oh my goodness. She saw the bear at the airport gift shop. <laughs> and wanted to get it for you. And I wrote that note. It's cheesy, I'm sorry. I love you too, Mike. Ah, oh, not in front of the sister. Not in front of the sister. Okay, she's like, what? I want Kissy too! Oh, okay. Bye, Tinsley. You coming tomorrow? Sure I can come. Uh-oh, tomorrow. Oh, no, okay. Let's go in. Are we back at his? Oh. Why, why is she upset? Why is she crying? Ever since we came back from Panama, she's been having scary dreams. Oh, baby. You want to go play with toys? Mm-hmm. Sorry, Tinsley, it's getting really late. I have to go now. Can you sleep in our house? I mean, why not? I'd love to, but I don't have any clothes. Just use mine. You know, boyfriend. Sure, I guess I can stay then. Here's a jacket you can wear, Case. Thanks, babe. Also, can I talk to you about something? Yeah? About Tinsley's nightmares? You don't think they're happening because... Oh, of what happened that night. That may be true. But honestly, I think it's just a coincidence. Yeah, of course you would. This is a different world. I don't think they can mess with us here. You don't need to worry. That chapter of our life is, you know, closed, over. Let's try keeping it that way. But I'll check the closet for you if you're really worried. 
Wait, if you're gonna do that, please use a candle while looking in it. Who knows, there could be some kind of demon. All right. That's not a candle, that's a phone. It's still in here. Hey, Zim, Mikey. What happened, Tinsley? I'm getting scary dreams again. Do you want me to put you to bed? Yeah. Michael, I'll be right back. I'll just go put her to bed. He's like, I got woken up for that. <laughs> Seriously. I'm back to sleep again. Oh. He doesn't look so good. Huh? Where am I? It looks so familiar. This is the same clothing I wore that cursed sleepover. Oh, no. Oh. Huh? My cross earrings. <gasps> what? Oh. What? What's happening? I'm worried for him now. What, what do you want from me? What the heck? Where is he? I'm so confused. Oh, that doesn't look good. Where's he going? What's going on? What, where? <laughs> what? Oh, wait, what? Wait, why is there a tree? Come on, Michael. Get the flower for mummy. I forgot that in description of this video that there was actually some voice acting. I didn't know whereabouts it was, but I believe it's done by Aviara themselves. Looks like you fell into my little trap. What are you gonna do to me? You won't die, but you're <laughs> You crossed us. Now it's our turn to cross you. You were left unharmed. This time, let's switch around the roles a bit, shall we? Oh gosh. Oh, that legit gave me goosebumps, okay? I, <laughs> I got goosebumps from that. If you voice that, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, he looks horrible. Morning, Mike. He doesn't look so good. Might want to go check on him. Is it me or is he acting different? Eh, he probably didn't sleep that well. Mike, can I borrow some of your clothes? No. You want to go somewhere today? My mum isn't home for the whole weekend. Nah, can't, sorry. Should I just leave him alone? Oh, what a stupid girl. Oh, she's not stupid. Shh. I have full control over you now. Oh, that's really creepy. You do what I say. Oh, no. What happened, Casey? It's nothing, Tinsley. Well, tell me. Okay, just don't cry, okay? Mike is acting a little... Mikey just being mean to you? Kinda. It's just, he usually isn't like this. Oh, oh, she's angry. Oh, you don't mess with her. Nope. Mikey, why are you being mean to her? I wasn't being mean to her. Yeah, you were. You made her cry. Uh, Tinsley, could you go to your room for a second? Where is the mum in all of this? What the heck was that about? No. You tell me. What is going on? What are you talking about? You've been a real poop this morning. Michael, I'm your girlfriend. Tell me what's wrong. I already told you, it's nothing. In that case, could you drive me home? Hell no, walk. <gasps> my house is too far away from yours. Not my problem. It is your problem. I'm your- I don't care, just get out. Yeah, get out, girl. He is not worth it right now. Oh, Casey. What happened? Explains everything, yeah. Oh, it's always my bestie here to cheer me up. I'm gonna find out what the hell is wrong with that guy. I didn't get to speak with him at all over the weekend. He never answered my calls or texts. It's like he never even saw them. I missed him. Oh, it's like once again he has disappeared with nothing said. Monday at school. So wait, is he still gonna go to school then? Well, she's at school, clearly. Hey guys. Are you okay? Yeah? Yeah, no, she ain't okay. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. At least I have you guys. Aw. Aw. Wait, is he there at school? No way. Is he? What? My Michael? L look, I'm really sorry about Saturday. I shouldn't have overreacted like that. Oh, whoa. Get the hell away from me. Mike, what the heck is wrong with you? Oh, boy, you ain't doing that. Yes, boyfriend coming in to protect her as well. Okay, he does look pretty angry right now, though. I would hate to be messing around with Mike. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, probably best to get out of there. Oh. What? Whoa, hey, whoa, what the heck? Dude, we are done. What? 
done with what? D done, Mike, Mike, done with what? Kaisley! Are you okay? I'm okay now. You're not upset? No, because that's not Michael. What do you mean? I saw that his eyes were red. And there was an entity mark in his eyes too. Michael's possessed? Well, that's what I think. But I think we need to speak to an expert about it. Go tell Alan we're all going to the hospital after school on Friday. Wait, who's who's at the hospital that's an expert in being like people being possessed? I don't, I don't, okay, whatever. Alan is involved in this? Missy, from what I know, we're all involved in this. Ooh, okay. Wait, so what exactly is an entity mark? I'm not too sure, to be honest. All I know is that it's the mark in his eyes. So it's called an entity mark. And I also know that it does not mean anything good. That's why we're here to see my mother. She's an expert with these kind of things. Oh, interesting. Okay, so clearly she's got all this from her mum. So what brings you all here? Uh, mum, we think Mike is possessed. How so? Well, when he was breaking up with me, I saw that his eyes were red. Kaisley also said something about an entity mark. That's kind of why we came here to ask you about it. Wait, what? Did you say an entity mark? Yeah. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Did the mark look like this? Like what? Oh, a diamond. Yeah, exactly like that. She's back. Everyone in the car now. We're going to the church. Mum, why'd you bring us here? I'm so confused. She, she's back. Who? The entity. Listen, guys. This is way bigger than you would ever imagine. The entity is a demon named Ariola. She has the form of a child and has a voice of a little girl. That mark in Michael's eyes is her mark. So this means she's possessing Michael, since he has her entity mark. I had to deal with her a few years ago. I trapped her in a game, in the closet game. The only way she would be freed is if the game was played. Ah, oh, look at their worried faces now. Maybe because they played one of them. The closet game hasn't been played for over a millennium. Oh jeez, <laughs> you're really messed up now boys and girls. So I thought it would keep her trapped. Are you guys okay? This may be our faults. Did you guys play the closet game? Explains the whole sleepover. Oh jeez. But we thought that breaking the mirror would get rid of her. No, 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 no. Simply breaking the mirror doesn't do anything. She would obviously be let free again if the closet was opened again. Michael probably opened the closet or something inside the building. There's a gateway to lift up the screen that separates humans and other entities. She wants to lift up that screen. So she can turn this world into a living nightmare. She wants vengeance. And only a human can open the portal, which is why she's using him. H how do we stop her? There might be one way. But first, have you all gotten anything from your sleepover? We got cross earrings, does that count? Yes, yes, we'll need those. Where are they? They're still at Michael's house, I think. All right, let's head to Michael's house and get them. Tonight is a blood moon, so she's probably gonna lift the screen tonight. Oh. Great timing as well. Once we get the earrings, I'll tell you guys how to stop her. Oh, yes, the entity was the one controlling the cursed sleepover. Oh, interesting. So she was overall controlling it. Oh dear. Wait, so she's got them? Okay, I think we're good. Hey, little girl, what happened? Mikey walking to the scary forest. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Well, that's just perfect. Oh God, you better get to that forest fast. Guys, I got your cross earrings. Good, let me give you your instructions on how to stop her. Oh, are you not coming as well, Mum? Alright, good, thanks. Do we just wear the cross earrings now? No, these earrings are very powerful, but they are not to be worn on the ear. In this world. You'll use them as normal crosses. Now on to your instructions. You must stop her before midnight. But it's only 7pm. You'll have to make do with the time you have if you want to save the world. Oh my goodness, we're saving the world now! She will follow you into the forest. You cannot let any of her entities touch you. Oh jeez. It will have a bad effect. Trust me. That's why you have the crosses. Just point your crosses at them and visualize them perishing in hell. Oh, okay then. That sounds great. The crosses can only shine a light in her eyes, which will make her turn away for a little bit. In the forest, there will be a shaped stick in a tree. Make sure you look for that. You'll need it. By all means, do not take the car beyond the forest entrance. It will disrupt everything. Guys, I don't know if it's meant to be free, four, or 43, so we're just gonna be like the stones, okay? <laughs> There'll be stones around the house. This is what makes the gateway open. You must stab them with the stick from the forest. 
Make a dent in all the stones in order for them to not work. This is the only way to close the gateway. But be careful in the process. She will send all sorts of obstacles to stop you from disabling the stones. Remember what I told you about the crosses. What about Michael? How do we free him? Ah oh, yes, Michael. You must not let him get near you or touch you before going to the fourth stone. Here's how to free him from Ariola's possession. Make sure to lead him to the third crystal. That's where the gateway is. Make sure to not let him see you. Stab him? Yes, yeah, stab him with the stick from the forest. This is the only way to free him from her possession. It will suck Ariola back in to the Entity World. What happens to him after that? I'm not too sure. You'll have to see. Anyways, that's all the instructions you need. Man, that's a lot of stuff to remember. How do you even know all of this stuff? I have a lot of experience with Ariola. Here are the keys to Michael's car. Good luck, guys. Humanity's carrying on you! You're not coming, ma'am? I can't. Alright then. Cool! Are you not gonna explain why you can't? Alright. And oh, oh, and the sister. Okay. Man, this is gonna be a long night. Probably ten times worse than the last one. Yeah, this whole situation is bigger than I'd ever imagine. Hmm? Oh! Tinsley! Uh, what are you doing here? You're going to say Mikey, right? I want to help. I, I don't know, Tinsley. This is going to be really dangerous. But we've already gone quite far. <sighs> I guess you'll have to come then. But you're going to stay with me the whole time, got it? Got it. We're here. Oh no. Oh dear. I've lived here all my life and I've never seen this forest. Same, but I think it's always been here. Maybe, but now we should try and find that stick. I think we better find that stick quick. I would. I would very much so. What happened, Case? Well, I see something in the distance over there. Is it good? I think it might be the stick. Well, you should go check it out then. Oh, she's going for it. Oh, this doesn't look like a stick, but it feels like a stick. And my mother did say it would be a little misshapen. This must be the stick then. Okay, so she's got it. She's going back. Oh. Guys, I got the stick. That's great. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, the goosebumps are coming back again. <laughs> I think we've disrupted nearby entities. Yep, yep, you did. We have to go now. Yep, please run. Please. Oh wait, why are they looking shocked? Oh no, it's a dead end. What's gonna happen? Oh! <gasps> kicked her in you you might want to grab the stick if you can yep yep keep go get go swimming for it you can do it i believe just don't drown okay yes there we go we've got stick we're all good okay everyone's out no oh no what's going on oh oh thank god thank you for saving me missy no problem case i think i see the house over there i guess we should go then she isn't ready for all this trauma. We'll keep her safe, don't worry. I know, but I'd hate for anything to happen to her. Well, I feel like this is just the beginning of the horror. You think we can do this? Stop being so doubtful, of course we can. If we survive the cursed sleepover, who says we can't survive this? I mean, I guess. But this is gonna be 10 times harder. So we can still do it. Yeah, you're right. Let's go in, guys. Don't do it. Oh, why are you going in? Oh, jeez. oh no. Is it just me? Or does this house look exactly like Michael's? It isn't just you. The Entity must have made it look like his house because she's possessing him. That is probably why. Now let's go dent some of those stones, stop an Entity and free Michael from possession. We can do this! Let's go find the first stone. Let's look in the room first. Yeah, let's look in this room. Let's go, let's go. I don't see the stone anywhere. Oh, they found it? It's locked! How will we get out? Let's just look for the stone in the meantime. Yeah, maybe it has something to do with that. Okay, let's go look for the stone, I guess. Are they gonna find it? Please say they do. The door is open now. But something is trying to get in. Oh my goodness, what is? Oh, hey guys. Long time no see, eh? Mikey? Hey, Tinsley. Come to Big Bro. Casey, open the door. Wait, Tinsley, that's not Mikey. Hey, Case. Why don't you come and give me a big hug? Casey, what are you doing? You know that isn't him, right? I... Casey, I know you're upset about Mike, but you can't let your lovesickness get in the way of this. Yeah, it's far too dangerous. I know, I'm sorry, guys. 
Guys, hold the door closed. Wait, what's going on? What? Okay, he's going to dent the stone. If I let go of the door, they'll get in. It's fine, we'll hold them off. All right then. Oh! They, they do it? What is going on? Missy, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let go of the door. No, 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 it's fine. At least we dented the first stone. Mikey! Oh, jeez. Tensi, where are you going? Wait, she knows that's not Michael, right? No! She's five. How is she supposed to understand? Let's go after her. Hey, little girl. Huh? Why are you crying? I, I can't find my brother Mikey. You know where he is? Yes, I know where he is. Come behind the dresser and I'll tell you. Don't do it. Closer. Closer. Oh! <laughs> did they just save her in time? I think they did. There you are, you scared us. Don't do that again, okay? Okay, I won't. Also, I saw another stone over there. Oh. Ah! Uh. Wait, what's going on? No! No! No. What the hell? Okay then. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you better run. I would run. At least we dented the stone. Three hours later, they've been searching for the last stone. Oh gosh, wait, where are they ended up now? Okay, so the stone is over there. Quickly, go dent it. Oh, she did it! I did it! Where's Michael, though? Oh! Looks like something bad happened. Stab, stab, stab! Stab, stab, stab! Let's do it! So, is he actually gonna survive from this, or...? <laughs> oh no! And everyone's crying? Oh jeez. 12 o'clock now. Our time is up. M Michael? Paisley? Mike, you're back! Oh, okay. I missed you so much, Mike. You were possessed! I missed you too, Kays. I'm so sorry for everything. Ah, oh, grip hug! Good to have you back, bud. What happened to Mike? Since he was possessed by the entity, he needs a bit more time to adapt to the light again. Okay, then. I'm gonna go now. Oh, apparently not. Don't go yet. I haven't seen you for a week. I missed your cuteness. I'm not cute. I'm sorry for everything, Case. For how mean I was to you. It's okay, it wasn't your fault. You couldn't control it. Little did they know, things were far from going back to normal. Oh no. Are you serious? I'll be back soon. Ariola. Oh my gosh! Uh, oh no! Part 3 question mark? Guys, if you haven't already gone and checked out the original creator of this gacha, link is in the description. Go share the love with them. If you want to support this series, then go ahead and just, just share some love onto their videos. I hope you guys really enjoyed these ones. I really, really like the story of this, so well done. Really, really enjoyed it. If you have any more suggestions and what else you want me to have a look at, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, guys!